Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this session, basically DevOps project three, we will see about the how to set up the Terraform project basically on your local machine. Okay, then we will try to understand architecture diagram what we are trying to do for the Dev as a part of the DevOps project three basically. Okay, then we will try to integrate. Okay integrate terraform with the aws basically so whatever the code or we want to deploy basically the any resources through the code basically that code should deploy properly in the aws account basically okay whatever the aws accounts you have okay and wherever you want to create it basically okay then we will try to create a normal single ec2 instance basically with the load balancer and the route 53 dns entry basically okay this is a very simple project okay this is not a complex project just for the for terraform <clears throat> to be honestly speaking this is the first terraform project basically normally i try to create the resources by using cdk cloud development kit okay which is support only aws cloud okay but terraform as you aware already uh, in the market basically terraform supports multi cloud okay you can create the resources in the G google cloud azure or aws cloud okay so i will provide the source code basically uh, about the terraform code basically how to create the load balancer route 53 entry acl target group basically and the server okay i will provide that link all the details link basically in the description box so don't worry about the about that okay so if you want to really learn about the terraform terraform basically this will be the best start for you basically because uh, i am also uh, as i said this is my first terraform project basically so I started learning on this area basically. So definitely you can just grab the knowledge on this. Okay. I will start the basic one first. Okay. Then you can, uh, we can gradually increase the uh, project complexity basically. Okay. So overview of this diagram, basically what we are trying to achieve today. So we have this endpoint basically web.awsguruji.net, which should accessible via HTTPS secure URL basically. Okay. And as a DevOps engineer, we try to write down the code in the Visual Studio. It's a client basically IDE tool where we can write down the code basically. Okay. And we are using Terraform to deploy services in the cloud basically. With the we, what's resources basically route 50, the DNS entry, load balancer. <coughs> sorry. Behind the load balancer, we have single ec 2 instance. Okay. As of now. Okay. Then if you want to create only simple ec 2 instance, I have this code written basically for the Terraform. Okay. You can definitely just go with that. I will add this URL in my description box. Okay. So this is for the single single EC2 with the user data script. Okay. We don't need to go log into the servers manually and run the command like yum update, install nginx, start and the sample page basically. Okay. So what we can do is we, we are just doing the user data script basically executing when the server launch. Okay. But for today's project, I, I am not going to create single servers. Okay. I have another uh, requirement basically where okay, we create EC2 instance with the load balancer, route 53, and SSL certificate basically. Okay. So we have a requirement like a create an EC2 instance with the T3 micro. Okay. Install Nginx web server by using user data script basically. Okay. Then create a load balancer with the target group, and that target group sh should register EC2 instance. Okay. As a target. Then attach that target group to load balancer. Okay. And then when we create the load balancer, basically we can, we can attach SSL certificate on that load balancer for the secure URL, basically HTTPS. Okay. And our end, end URL or domain, basically it should be a web.awsguruji.net as simple as, okay. This is the Terraform code, basically where <clears throat> I use existing VPC. I'm not going to create any uh, new VPC here. Okay. In next project, we might uh, see that we create a custom VPC, then create multiple servers behind the load balancers and they create the cloud cloud front on the top of load balancer basically. Okay. As we uh, seen in the next last pro project. Okay. Which is created by the uh, CDK code basically. Okay. Then <coughs> we use public subnet here. Okay. Because uh, load balancer required at least two subnet. Right. So I just mentioned this two subnet here. Okay. SSL certificate I have mentioned here as a variable. Then I have used existence uh, security group. I am not going to create any new things, new uh, security group or VPC in this project. Basically, whatever the existing we have, I have a VPC and the security group. I am using that. Okay. And key pair, which is we use for the you know, put login purpose by using putty basically. So first you can just create the uh, this key pair basically manually. Then that key pair name we can just pass here. Okay, variable. Then to create the instance basically, 
I am just using the Amazon Linux AMI ID here. Okay. And the server instance type T3 micro. I am using the key pair name basically, which we have created here. Okay. And the public subnet basically. And I am executing the user data script here. Okay. For that server, we have installed updates. Okay. And the Nginx package and the hosting the sample. Hello world, hello Terraform world basically, sample page. Okay. In the index.html file. Okay. Then I am giving the server name as a EC2 hyphen instance basically. Then I am creating the load balancer, application load balancer basically. So you can just find out the details basically, public and <coughs> URL. Then I am just creating the uh, target group and that target group I am attaching here, instance basically. Okay. Then I am creating the, the listener basically. You can see here. Okay. HTTP and HTTPS here, both way. And finally, I am just creating the, creating the DNS entry here, web.awsguruji.net. Okay. As we have a end URL basically. Okay. So <clears throat> let's see. So before that, let me refresh my AWS console. Basically, I want to show as you, as of now, you can see, I have only single instance and for the region, I am using Mumbai basically. Okay. And load balancer. This is the <clears throat> IMA users. Okay. So I just forgot one more thing here before start the project basically. So if you guys don't know about the how to set up the project locally basically. Okay. So because uh, we need proper setup when <clears throat> we need to deploy these things basically from the uh, Visual Studio. Okay. So I have given this uh, end to end uh, process basically details how you can install the, the prerequisites AWS CLI then Terraform, okay, Terraform installation. It's very simple one. It, there, there is no complex steps involved in that. Okay. If you are using Linux, Mac, you can just run this command basically depend on your OS. Okay. So prerequisite is basically we need AWS CLI, then install Terraform and AWS credentials configuration basically. Okay. So Terraform can auth authenticate and deploy the resources on particular AWS account. Okay. So for I have I am using my, my Windows machine, so that's what I just added the windows step here okay just install this packages basically whatever the latest package are there for the terraform then extract it because the file will create in the zip format okay extract it simple copy that terraform folder to your programming files basically as you can see the screenshot here uh, c, c drive program files then terraform folder in that terraform terraform you can find that application bin binary file right terraform then open control panel okay as you can see the screenshot click on system basically okay on <clears throat> then next click on advanced settings you will find that options here okay and then at the end of the screenshot you can just find out this environment variables then just, just click on that okay then here next step as a, you can just select path and just click on next okay uh, sorry edit then on the edit you <clears throat> you need to paste uh, this path basically wherever uh, wherever you are you have placed the terraform folder basically okay as execution so i just <coughs> you can see the example terra c program files and terraform just click on new here new pop-up will appear and you can just paste that url and just simply click ok okay then the other dialog box will present there you can just click on ok ok so it will stay save basically okay so just to check the version there we can just run the command terraform hyphen version okay you will get the version output basically and just for the aws cli once the installation done you can just install that and check the version aws space hyphen hyphen version okay so after that you can just create one ima user here okay just simply i'm not going to create but i'm just trying to show test user okay just simply click you can attach permission basically just for the practice purpose i am just giving the administrator access okay so in the real time you can just avoid this giving the full access just click user okay so user will create as you can see test user just click on that go to security credentials okay sorry so here you can see this access key uh, button basically you can just simply create access key and just select local code or something and just yes i can understand the recommendation click on next create access key okay okay 
I thought where is gone. Just copy this access key, okay? And as you aware already, the command basically AWS hype space configure configure enter, and you can just paste your access key here. Just paste access key here. I am just not going to paste because I have already configured. Then just press enter. Okay. Then you need a uh, secret access key. You can just copy. Okay. And paste here and press enter. Okay. Then whatever the default region or you want to create the resources, basically just add the region code here and then press enter and you can just press enter here. Okay. Your configuration is done basically. Okay. These are the prerequisites so you need to create. Okay. I am just deleting this user basically. I don't require that. Test user. Okay. Simply because I have already done the setup. Why it's taking too much time? Okay, deleted. So now let's go to this project basically. You can see I have this. I am using Visual Studio Code. Okay. So in that, I have a EC2 folder and hold on let me do this okay this one not this one okay terraform project basically i have in that main dot file i have written whatever the, i have shown the code basically okay for the terraform so to run this basically i can just execute the command terraform plan first you need to run basically terraform init command but i have already done that okay terraform in it basically to initialize the project okay but for now i can just go with the plan okay Okay, if you if you are running first you need to go your <coughs> visual studio code location basically where the path is to, uh, where you are creating this project basically as you can see i am in the ec2 lb root 53 as you can see here okay then if you have not initialized your project so you can just run command like terraform in it okay and uh, press enter basically it will initialize the project but I have already done that, so you can just see the folder structure. Okay, so I can go with simply Terraform plan basically before deploying the changes. So I can uh, ensure ensure that what uh, what the what are the changes is deploying on the AWS account basically. Okay, before executing the actual apply command. Okay, you can see the plus sign basically. It's creating the all the infrastructure, whatever we have discussed like EC2 instance, load balancer, target group, register target group with the load balancer ssl certificate then dns entry basically okay so now what i can do is i can just simply run command terraform apply okay so it will create the resources whatever we have seen in the code basically okay so code basically uh, github project i will add in the video description box basically so you can just follow that do uh, required changes basically like a uh, vpc ssl certificate arn details or security group id basically and you can just uh, simply do your deployments with the uh, this sample project basically okay we need to just press enter here for the confirmation okay or you can say approve basically and it will start creating the resources okay as you can see the messages It will take a little bit time. It's depend on the what you are creating basically, okay? Because uh, ECS cluster, cluster, AKS cluster, or the cloud front, it takes a uh, little bit time, okay? We have creating the very simple project, so EC2 instance load balancer, so it will not take too much time as compared to cl cloud front AKS cluster like that, okay? So I'm just pausing here video basically. So after the creation, I will come back. <clears throat> uh, 
okay so as you can see the output message basically the app apply complete okay the resource seven has been added basically it's deployed properly so let's go to the aws console and just verify okay so let me refresh once again okay so we can see here the ac2 uh, hyphen instance whichever we have given the tag basically it's uh, created properly okay and uh, if i just go to the load balancer tab okay so we can see load balancer also created <clears throat> okay so you can see example hyphen lb load balancer okay so now let's verify the host basically i'm just going to check the records we have given the name right web dot this one web dot aws guruji dot net okay just copy and i'm just placing here okay and it should come with the output you can see hello terraform world okay so if i <clears throat> this will if you want to verify this ssl certificate we can just verify from here as well okay so whatever the resources we have deployed as we discuss in the diagram basically architecture diagram so we have done with that okay with the terraform code basically okay so <clears throat> This is the DNS entry basically we have just given in the Terraform web.awsguruji.net right so that is created successfully here okay so this way we can just manage the resources by, by using Terraform basically in the AWS cloud okay whatever the requirement in the real time projects we can easily manage through the uh, Terraform basically okay Terraform code okay so yeah that's all for the today's session basically our next section uh, next uh, session as a devops project 4 basically so we'll uh, try to come up with the more little bit complex project okay where is uh, it can be a you know tool uh, ec2 servers uh, cloud front the other stuff basically okay and then we can gradually increase the com more complexity where the database involved basically how we can create the t three tier uh, architecture diagram uh, sorry architecture basically okay through the uh, terraform okay yeah that's all for the today's section uh, session if you if you have a uh, if you are the new uh, user basically just like share and the uh, subscribe basically okay also share with the your uh, social media handlers or uh, you know like linkedin or your st status basically okay and share with your friend group as well so they can also get the benefit uh, from this series basically okay devops project right okay yeah thank you